Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Magento React Native project. So go to the GitHub repository. It's github.com, double D hat, Magento React Native. And in the readme, you can find setup link. There is documentation all there and here set up so first of all to start this project we need a magento instance i have my local setup and to start it we need to go to the admin panel and first we're gonna do uh, generate integration keys to generate some tokens which required for mobile app setup so system integration let's go system integration and and new integration here we should place the name it's whatever name you like call it magento react native you need to input your admin user password here and then go to the ip section select all and save After save, it's appear here and it's inactive. So we need to activate it. Press activate, allow. And here we are, here our access token. We will need it later. So we did stop our integration keys. Let's see what the next stop instruction. And next is to create CMS block, which will contain JSON configuration for our mobile app home screen. To do this, we need to go to the content blocks, content blocks, add new block. Here's some title, whatever you want. Uh, for example, mobile home screen config. And our config should look like config sample here the link and let's just copy it and paste here so you see here the weird uh, table around it it because Magenta use YCV editor, which we should disable or hide. So press hide editor. And we see our config was wrapped with HTML text. So just delete it and input it again. Here, our config. It contains slider. It's something. It's our slider here and featured categories on our home screen. Let's add some content here. Title for first slide. Uh, let's name 
slide title config tutorial sample slide and it's for the title and for the image we need to input image pass inside the magento we can find it here press button insert image and choose some image from for example we have pass ycwig home home erin jpeg let's input this like ycwig home and home ring jpeg insert image for example men's men's t-shirts why civic men and men's t-shirts let me double check is it okay it's men's like this and it's for our slider for future categories we need to sing category id and title for to find category id we need to go to the catalog categories and here you see default category id second for example we want gear category and you can see gear category id is three so let's input it here category id three and title gear and some other category for example um man tops and id is 14. So input id and title man tops and this config should be equivalent json file so before continue we can validate it in online json validator like online json validator validate json okay our json is valid it's important because if we miss some comma or anything json will be invalid and it will not work on the upside so our json is valid and we can save it and the next step is installing react native project so we can uh, terminal go to the download from there create directory uh, some sample gear and 
clone the project. Complete. Go to the our project directory. Then we need set up dependency. npm install. Okay, install complete. And for iOS, we need to do pod install as well. Go to the iOS dir and run pod install command. Now we need to create our config file where we place configuration for from our Magento store. So in the directory src config sorry here is we have our config sample just duplicate it and rename it to magento.js now we can open our project in any text editor you like i'm using webstorm and go to the src config and magento.js file in the URL, we need to input our Magento store URL. This is mma.local for me. mma.local. Don't forget about the slash in the end because it will not work without it. It will not work like this. So don't forget to input it. Next, home CMS block ID. Here we input our block ID we created earlier. So mobile home screen config and go back. Here's our newly created config and ID is here, so it's 20. Store. Store we can find in the stores all stores store view code. Stores all stores store view code. It's default for me, same is in sample config. And last thing is access token. Access token is something for all integrations. Is access token. And that's it with our config. Yeah. And for run, we can use React Native command, React Native from iOS. And here we are. This is our sample slide. 
client titles, titles and images we inputted earlier, our gear, category and something go went wrong with mentops but it's basically it.